So here we go for heat number 11 with the Reading pairing. Jan Anderson, who has indeed, as expected, been the number one threat for the Heathens. He'll be in the white helmet colour. He has a total of seven points from his first three starts with his young partner, Ashley Pullen, not having a happy night at all, Ashley. No score so far. Here's Anderson from Gothenburg. Previously with Swindon Robbins, he moved across for £10,000 to Reading at the start of the 1979 season. Was their number one last year in their championship winning year. An expert at indoor speedway. He was the big star of the indoor meetings at the National Exhibition Centre just uh, 18 months ago. Twice the Swedish champion, Jan Andersson. There's the score all over bar. They're shouting for Cravey. They're going to get these two league points now. But uh, Reading will be attaining for some respectability from this fixture. 38-22 the score. On the inside there, David Shields. Grid two, Ashley Fullen. Grid three, Eric Gunderson. Uh, unbeaten as yet. And on the outside again, his favourite outside grid start. Jan Anderson of the white helmet colour. Heat number 11. A fair battle again between Gunderson and Anderson. The two Vikings, and away they go. And Anderson really has got the drop. Although as the Shields got away well, David Shields has got away. Shields leads it. Although Anderson tries the outside and gets the better line. Now where is Gunderson? Gunderson must make his effort. He mustn't let Anderson get too far clear because uh, Jan really goes when he gets a bit between his team. Gunderson's up in the second place, and we should have a rare old big dog now. Oh. That was a bit ruthless by Anderson. He really didn't allow goodness of the inside pass. is hard, but very fair. And Gunderson is a rare battler. It's his lap three. Left himself with a fair amount of work to do, but he isn't finished by any stretch. There is the battle for heat 11. Anderson still leading. Goodness and back, trying to find some extra drive around the outside. It's tremendous stuff. Last two corners. It's got to come now. If it's going to come at all. And over the line is just goodness and by our reckoning. Tremendous speedway. Well, well, well. Well, it looked like he uh, injured himself in that effort. Eric Gunderson there, who just made his effort along the last two corners. And uh, let's just have a look at that again. Well, here's the start. And uh, once again, we see the gating ability of Jan Anderson. There he goes, and it's Gunderson who gets squeezed out as David Shields gets to the corner in front. But Anderson always had the more horsepower here. Down the back straight, he leads it. Shields is in second place. Gunderson knows he mustn't let this very speedy Swede get too far clear. He moves around the challenge. And then we really had a race that developed into a classic. Anderson in front. Gunderson in second place. And he tried him inside right now. He tried the inside run here. And, uh, well, very nearly took Anderson's back wheel off. Lost a lot of ground there, as you can see. And at this stage, really... All the clever money was on Jan Anderson because he was in front, he was making his own line, looking over his shoulder there. He knows he's got Gunderson at the back of him, but it seemed like he had a little bit to spare. But Gunderson, this Dane, member of the Danish World Cup winning squad, doesn't finish, doesn't stop trying until the chequered flag. And he really tried to find the outside line here, getting out where the drive is. As they go into the last lap, this really was 338 metres of absolutely vintage speedway from Eric Gunderson. Around the outside here, Anderson still looks comfortable. And now Gunderson approaches the pit corner and knows he's got to make his effort. And he keeps it all screwed on. A perfectly timed manoeuvre around the outside. A masterpiece of passing. And he clearly has got the drop on the line. 